Have you ever needed to generate a depth pass of your scene for compositing in Blender or for use in another application like GIMP, Photoshop, or even an AI tool of some kind? Blender can do that. Load up your scene and make sure it includes an active camera. Go to the Render Layers tab, check the box next to Mist. Next, click the World Settings tab and expand Mist Pass. Start represents the distance from the camera where the effect will start. Depth is the distance from the camera where the effect will end. A simple way to determine what the depth value should be is to add a cube, tab into edit mode, and move everything down on the Z axis by one meter. Then tab back into object mode. The following will require that you have the copy attributes add-on enabled in settings. Select the cube and shift click the camera. Press Ctrl C and select Location. Press Ctrl C again and click Rotation. Now, scale your cube on its local Z to where you want the depth pass to end. The Z dimension of the cube is the value to type into depth. Delete the cube since it was just for reference and render your scene. You should only need one sample and no denoising. Move the render window out of the way and open the compositor. Make sure to check Use Nodes. If you would like to see your compositing in the compositor window rather than only in the render window, check Backdrop and add a viewer node. Plug Mist into the image socket of both the composite and viewer nodes and add a reroute for simplicity. If your specific need requires that black represent the furthest point, then drop an invert color node here. Back on the render window, save the image as an open EXR for the best possible color depth to avoid gradient banding. Your depth pass is now able to be used outside of Blender. And that's it. If it turns out that your other application cannot use OpenEXR, then save your image as a 16-bit TIFF or PNG with no compression. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this has been Carl with BlenderForge. Happy blending!